welcome back to Cloudfall Zoo and also the, the first episode of the year in in August yeah that, that that's my bad I, I was looking over my channel and I realized the last video uploaded was like eight months ago last year and I, I just realized oh I haven't made any videos this year so yeah I'm, I apologize for that just uh, you know got got busy the, the initial plan was to finish up the European area and show it off all at once, but I never actually finished it. I think I got a little burnt out, a little tired of it, so decided like not do other stuff and I never actually showcased anything and also like computers having a little bit of troubles, like sometimes when I load in it's slow, like this entire tour I'm probably gonna have to do paused because you see it's a bit laggy, a bit framey. Even plain Tain Zoo I can't open the file anymore. So yeah I gotta gotta like Check out some components of my PC, maybe replace it. But uh, yeah, also just generally busy, so I'm sorry about that. But here we are. So, like I said, the European area, which I'm gonna show off today, which I think I first teased like when I showcased the reptile park, which was ages ago. Yeah, gonna show off some of like I think half of what the total area will be, and then the later bits I'll show. Whenever I finish it, I don't know when, but yeah, at least we can get an episode done. So yeah, for the European area, I, the reason why I decide to build European areas because, you know, you see a lot of Americans and Europeans in Planet Zoo building some uh, stereotypical African areas, so I decided to pull the Uno reverse card and build a stereotypical European area. And, of course, the way so to do that is I'm making a area I guess based mostly around fairy tales and stuff hence the name the fairy tale forest and that's why we have things like uh, like before you even go in the area a giant shoe from the story and the nursery rhyme I think the, the rhyme is something about an old woman who lived in the shoe she had so many kids she didn't know what to do and I don't, I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. Uh, something about bread and sending them to bed. Uh, it, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been in nursery school. And why there's a giant pumpkin? I don't know. The reason why there's a giant shoe and a giant pumpkin is because Johannesburg Zoo has a giant shoe and a giant pumpkin. And so I understand where the shoe comes from. That's like a story and a nursery rhyme. But they also have a giant pumpkin. So I don't know why they have it. But Cinderella maybe, but it's not on wheels, so... Anyway, I just copied it. And there's a giant pumpkin here now. Both of them are bathrooms, so this one's like a generic bathroom, and this one's, uh, I think, a, a family bathroom. Yeah, by the way, I got a... I also put Red River Hogs in this, uh, this enclosure, finally. Wait, there, there they are. Yeah, because they came in um, a DLC. I, I don't even remember which one. See, I'm just, I'm, I haven't been super invested in Planet Zoo recently. But it's fine. Got some other stuff. I've been working on a new project. I don't know when that's going to come out. Plain Zoo I want to work on, but like I said, my computer's being a bit iffy. And maybe I'll do some solo balls in the future. Get some more videos up. But anyway, to enter, we're not going to do that, go through that archway over there. We're going to start down here. We have a wisteria arch. Let's pause, actually. A bit slow. I'm coming to this building over here, where we have a couple exhibits. Evan's probably going to scold me for this, because uh, you have glass viewing and it's right in the view of the sun it's facing north so that's not ideal but uh, it is what it is so over here our first animal we have a a lynx Eurasian lynx let me see if we can find it anywhere they never come up to this platform here so let's hop in let's see if we can see it And I think I'm stuck on the climbing beams now. No, I'm, I'm moving, kind of. Yeah, let's let's just hop up. 
of the explore mode, is that what that's called? Yeah, the lynx enclosure is very simple. Got some plants, some trees. I don't know where the lynx is. And we got some backstage, which we'll see. Ah, the lynx is backstage. That's the way it is. Okay, we'll see, we'll see the backstage. We'll come back there later and see the lynx. But then we also got in this enclosure the very European animal, the puma. Now, of course, pumas aren't North American, but I figured the zoo had a puma, and but that enclosure got destroyed, so... And I had this enclosure here. There's no other animal I could put in here other than maybe a second link, so I decided, no, let's put a puma in, because every zoo, they'll have, like, a themed area, and in that themed area, there'll be, like, one or two animals that are out of place. They just don't put in the theming, because they need a place to put the animal, so... I guess animal welfare comes first before theming. In this case, we put a puma in this enclosure over here. Ooh, that's laggy. So yeah, this one, this, these two enclosures probably will have the hardest to see animals in the entire zoo just because the viewing areas are just these two windows that are raised up high and there's all this plants and stuff there. But yeah, I think it'll be special once you get to see them. And of course we have the Similar thing with the puma, got this little platform up here. So maybe once in a while we might decide to be friendly and come greet the guests. Probably not though. Unless like maybe keepers can like spray catnip or something up there. I wonder if they... Do the zoos do that? Like put like scent enrichments on by the window so they'll come greet the guests. Will be cool. But yeah, this is just a big building, got some tables, some vetting machines, so you can sit here and eat. Let's go on the other side. Let's go back into explore mode. We've got some boars. A pair of wild boars, you can see them over there. And there's a few viewpoints, like before you even enter the area, you could have come to that wall on the other side, looked in, so... Yes, yeah, so hop into the free fly mode. You can see their backstage is also just underneath this building there. And then, yeah, so it's pretty much a pit design. Very soily, sandy, not a lot of grass in that. Because it's like lower down, always in the shade. And also, I don't think the pigs will be very favorable to the grass. Uh, yeah. And then there's another viewing area up there, which we'll see in a bit for the boars. Sorry if the game's very framey. Again, my PC is being a bit funny these days. As we come over here, we got some what they call men here's, which are just big rocks around Europe and I think some parts of North Africa and Asia as well. But for some reason, thousands of years ago, people just decided we're just going to stand these rocks upright. So yeah, got some men here. Don't have any signs at the moment. In the future I will make signs for all the animals and everything, but yeah, didn't have motivation I guess to make them right now. Come over here, we got an Avery for our barn owl. It's nice about barn owls is like no matter which geographical region you've represented, you could probably just put a barn owl in there because they're super widely distributed. So yeah, they fit in with the European area. So this Owl Avery is supposed to be uh, kind of like two Averys. I don't know if you can see here. There's like a little wall there and a dividing wall. So if the zoo wants to split it up, they can put like more chain link up here. But they only have one Owl, so decided to open up the Avery and go bigger space for the bird. That's a nice little seating area over there. And as we come along, we get a new little story fable thing. We have the sword in the stone. It's obviously from the King Arthur myth. So I think in the original stories the sword was in an anvil, like here, yeah, but it wasn't in the middle of the forest. It was like in front of a church in a town square, so kind of like the Disney movie. But I, I like the, the later iterations where the sword is, you know, in the middle of the forest where you like walking through the forest and you stumble across the sword in the rocks and then you go and try and pull it up so try and stim uh, yes 
simulate that over here. So you're like walking through, maybe take a peek at an owl, and then oh, out in the middle of the forest there's a sword and a stone, and you can try and pick it up. There's like a little stairway over here. Step up and try and pull the sword. It's a really big sword, and it's didn't really have a lot of uh, choice in pieces to make it smaller, but now nah, I'm happy with how the design turned up. I don't remember what piece I used for this. Is this the... yeah, some European pack pieces. If you want to see there. So yeah, so that kind of puts the hilt of a sword quite well, actually. And just put some hinges and whatnot to decorate it up. Of course, we got a little disclaimer. Zoo's not li real liable if you hurt yourself using the facilities and playground. So, if you actually try and pull the sword out and throw out your back, it's not the zoo's fault. The, you you won't be able to remove the sword anyway. I, d I don't think anyone would be worthy. So yeah, as we come along here, we see the view of a, a little cottage. And got a little hint of who the cottage belongs to. We also have this nice little pond all the way down here. Did try and put some of the Eurasian carp in here, but for some reason when you like put them in they just they just stay still. I have no idea why, but the fish mods in this game are weird when you just put them in they stay still. Maybe the water's too shallow or something, but they just they just sit there and there's, uh, there's not much I can do about it, so hopefully one day we'll start swimming or something, but yeah, there's supposed to be carp in this pond, I guess. Got this little, uh, what's it, life buoy? Is that what it's called? Uh, alright. No. Is that? No. Damn camera controls. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we've got this little life buoy, so if, in case anyone falls in the pond, you can just, you know, yeet and help them not drown in the very shallow pond. So yeah, so we've got a little spoiler of what the enclosure is, so this isn't viewing a bear enclosure, because the bear enclosure will be a little bit further up. And we've got Eurasian Polo Deer. And of course, this little house is supposed to be the house of the three bears. You can tell the little silhouettes in the window. Huh? Baby bear, mama bear, and papa bear. And then we've got the, the chairs, you know. Uh, too hard, too soft, just right, and chair broke. And then of course we've got the little bowls of soup. So I still need to put signs in that, like, wherever you have a little reference to a story or fable or whatever, I'll have signs explaining it, maybe retelling the story. So in here we'll have signs about that. I guess yeah, you can kind of have like a picture moment. The only thing missing is the beds, but I felt like it'd be a bit weird to have beds in the zoo, so yeah. No beds. Of course we've got a deer right through these windows. I'm not sure like, usually you never see glass windows used for ungulates, so I'm not sure if there's like something, a specific reason for that, maybe the ungulates can't see glass and they might try to break it or something, but I figured the small windows, they aren't going to try and jump through, so it's fine. And let's head back outside, step over the little bridge, we've got the water wheel, finally found a use for this big water wheel, decorating the side of this house. Serving absolutely no function, but so you can see there's a river coming all the way up there into this little dam with the car base down there. Let's just head this way first before we go up. Got a little aviary here. I, I think I was meant to put an owl in here. Currently it's uninhabited, so there's nothing in here probably put a Eurasian Eagle Owl or something in here in the future. Over here we've got a little, another story. Should be able to guess what it is because I put a sign here. Beanstalk removal. So this is reference to Jack and the Beanstalk. A little warning. You never know what's hiding in the clouds. 
And of course another another warning sign. So if anyone hurts themselves, it's not the zoo's fault. Or, or the zoo can't be held at fault, let's say. And yeah, here's the other viewing for the, the wild boars. I think yeah 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 you can kinda see a little backstage. Uh, the path to go down to the night rooms. And here's the other entrance arch where the pumpkin is and the, the reptile enclosure. Perfect type for tall people to knock their heads on the sign. So. Yeah, let's, let's go up by the deer first. So we've got this nice big grassy lawn so the zoo can hold events and stuff here. Or people can just come and picnic. And whatnot. So yeah, for this deer enclosure, I decided just not really any big fencing because we've got this big river here, and imagine it'd be like full of rocks and stuff, so the deers wouldn't want to cross there because their hooves aren't really suited for rocky terrain. I don't know, it's super feasible, but I think it's a good enough barrier. Keep all the deers in the enclosure back, back there. We come over here. We have the mute swan exhibit. And this is also supposed to hold mallards, but I don't think the mallard mod is updated because I can get an action mallards in the zoo. But we've got the swans for now. Yeah, we've got a pair of them just chilling over here. So it's just supposed to be a small waterfowl enclosure and a big pond. Also tried putting some carp in here, but in, in this case the carp wouldn't even go in the water, they would just sit on land like like statues. So yeah, took them out. Yeah, before we go further on, you might have noticed the other side of the lawn. So yeah, again we have another super European animal, the North American raccoon. Yeah again, there, there aren't a lot of captive species in South Africa, uh, captive European species, so in this area I'm pretty much using whatever European species that have been held anywhere in South Africa. And I know raccoons are North American, but they are they are invasive in I think Germany and Russia, so kinda counts. I, I think that's fair enough, that's fair game. So we've got this car here, this is not made by me, this is uh, this made by Haribo. And uh, I just took off all the lights and the glass and all the sharp objects the raccoons can hurt themselves with and turned it into a nice little shelter. So let's cross this little river. We've got like this moat to keep the raccoons from, you know, escaping. And then on the wall, we've got the electric fence, electric wire. I do need to replace these beams with the smaller beams, I think conservation pack was it that came with smaller beams so I can more even more convincing wire I should do that soon yeah. Over here it says it looks like an 8 but this is a 0 and that's supposed to be 1930s because that's when they were introduced into Europe in the 1930s I still there why are we still here yeah just to suffer I, I, I dig this raccoon enclosure it's got the some climbing structures. There's another house over here in case they wanna. I don't know, in case they don't like the car, they can come and sleep in there. And, uh, that's the raccoons. Let's walk up. And, uh,. Now reach another waterfowl exhibit over here. Yeah, now now we're gonna get into the stuff that's incomplete, but some things that need work on. Like yeah, I could use a bit more gardening and stuff. But yeah, there's supposed to be an exhibit for Canada goose, but I think the same thing. The mod also wasn't updated, so just imagine a bunch of cobra chickens strolling around here. 
in other spots. Probably also good for some other waterfowls, like barnacle goose. Yeah, I think there's also supposed to be a barnacle goose in here, maybe some, I don't know, poacher or something. I'll see. I'll figure it out in the future. And now we start delving into a little bit more, you know, I guess, Celtic mythology. And this is supposed to be a Kelpie. The water horse, that's why I have it in the little the river over here, in the waterfall. Using this, is this a zebra statue? Is this a. Oh, it's a Svalky, Svalky's wild horse statue. So, yeah. And then we have the leprechaun's pot of gold. So, yeah, when Twilight Pack came and I saw these cauldrons, I'm like, oh, these are perfect. This can be the pot of gold. So, I put the this one here and there's all these LEDs going into it and then this one's on its side and then of course I have all these yellow flowers to kind of you know symbolize gold so like all these little tubes are supposed to be like rainbows and then with the zoo night events which um, eventually I'll put more light decorations so like you can have night events at the zoo for like Halloween and Christmas and whatnot yeah then this will be on and be part of the light shows and just is another, another viewing area for the follow deer. You can see we got a food trough over there, just their shelter. I still need to replace all the thatch roofs with the, the new, what's it, was it the Asia pack that came out that gave us the new pretty thatch. I need to replace all my thatch roofs with that, I haven't gotten around to that yet. So you, you can you can tell when I when I built all of this. This was long ago. I could have made this video months ago, but eh, I'm sorry. And yeah, there's there's some more incomplete stuff. I guess I can just show you. So this is the viewing area into the what's going to be the walls and the bear enclosure. So you can see bear over there, and back there there's supposed to be walls and a little bear statue. And it's supposed to be a, a rotating exhibit, so some days you might get the bear back there, some days you might get the bear here, and the wolves will be on the opposite enclosure, so. But yeah, very incomplete. You can see there's big holes in the wall. There's a castle, but still has no interior. This wall needs to be done up. Got a gingerbread house, though, and that's fairly complete. There's another European fairy tale. Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> yeah, this enclosure is very incomplete. Still need to put plants and water features and whatnot. But that's for next episode, whenever that releases. And I'm on the roof. Oh great. As we continue, we'll come up here. I just you see I planted all this bamboo to hide the fence, so you don't realize the the wolf and bear enclosures are on the side of you. And up here we have an enclosure for some Demoiselle Cranes, which are modern animals. I've got to point out the Demoiselle Crane, the Mute Swan and the Boar are modern animals. I have a link to the Nexus page in the description. See so yeah, I like this, you got this little dry creek with the gravel. Use the Freebold mod to get the small gravel parts. We've got like all these nice little plants sticking out of it. And then we've got some buildings on the other side. So yeah, these still all need interiors, these are all gonna be enclosures like this pink one is gonna be a building for a ferret. This uh this one is gonna be for rabbits, I think. And this red one, this red and white one is gonna be for rats, yes. Rats. So yeah. That's all for the future, but you can see there's all nice pathways you walk up here. Wooden pathways as well. I think these like these would kind of be the wheelchair ramps because they're more gradual and stuff. Also nicer viewing into the the crane exhibit. These demoiselle cranes. I think they're usually associated with Asia, but they do migrate into Europe as well. So can okay, I can do that? Otherwise, I could also always replace them with the common crane, because I think those also kept in South Africa, and those are European, yeah. And I'm on the roof again, oh great. Uh, 
So yeah, this area over here with all these buildings, this is all kind of stereotypical German architecture because I, I think, or at least me, when you think stereotypical European architecture, let's, let's go with a Bavarian German architecture. So that's why this, those buildings and also all of these ones kind of supposed to have those traditional German vibes. So yeah, this is all, all the food stalls and that. Very incomplete, still need to do interiors and that, but got all these little food shops and whatnot. Up this road. And these little tent stalls as well. But anyway, that's the the European area, or well, what I have so far of it. You can see some extra stuff I've been planning for the future, but yeah, not sure when that'll come out. So, sorry again for this episode taking forever to come up. I'm also sorry for the frames, I guess, like I said, PCs having a bit of issues, and I guess when you combine that with recording, eh, it gets a bit framey at times, but it's... Hopefully the slideshow wasn't so bad for you to watch. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know when the next episode will come out, like I said, I just a little tired of uh, building in this area, so... I've been working on another project. I also do, can't say when that will come out, but I might do some uh, standalone one-off builds in like an empty map, so it won't be like watching a slideshow, and I can still get some content out and also play the game without uh, lagging. Yeah, as I said again, Tain Zoo. Don't know when that's gonna come out because I can't even open the map. I almost forgot. Backstage, the backstage. I actually did some some backstage, and I'm decently happy with it. So, in the backstage area over here, we have a road that connects into the uh, underneath of this building, and it has the uh, backstage of the the wild boars, which are over here, and the links. Oh, the links still sleeping. Of course it was, I've been playing pause this whole time. Look at a cute kitty. But yeah, we have these two enclosures, they can be separated, open and close to the outside. It all comes into this little uh, control module over here. We even got the yellow line, so like, you know, if they let guess in or just, no, try not to cross the line. We have an angry archer, oh, got to move. And then this is the Puma backstage, same setup. Only the doors are closed, so I guess my ammo cre cleaners are creeping. Cleaners are. Keepers are cleaning, that's the word. That's a tongue twister. Yeah, I've got some tools up there, some drains, because you know, I want to clean it. And then I put this wall here to kind of block the, the view from the boars and the animals so they don't freak each other out. Something I do still need to do, I forgot to do, is um, these bricks, I mean the little stone bits, I need to plaster them up here because obviously this is backstage, you aren't gonna spend extra time and money to make fancy stone walls on the inside. That's why most of these are plaster, I just forgot to do these little bits. Otherwise, yeah, decent backstage. I'm happy with it. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Sorry for the delay, and I'll see you whenever the next episode may be. It may be a month from now, maybe a, a decade from now. T time will tell. I'm sorry. Time has just been a void to me. Uh, bye.